Okay, so example problem three. Uh, we are having three jobs, A, B, and C. They are in queue. So I hope you are able to visualize uh, the concept of queue in the previous example. So I will explain. Someone asked the question related to previous example. So I will explain it after completing this slide. So I hope you were able to visualize the concept of Q from the previous example. So job A, B, and C are in Q at work center one zero before being completed on work center two zero. So in this case, we are having two work centers. Uh, in the previous example, we had one work center. In this case, we are having two. The following information pertains to the jobs and the work centers. For this problem, uh, there is no move time. Today is day one. If the jobs are scheduled by the earliest due date, can they be completed on time? So we are having three jobs, A, B, and C, and their processing time on two work centers is given, work center 10 and work center 20. Job A requires seven days at work center 10 and three at work center 20. Job B has a processing time of five at work center, work center 10 and two at work center 20. And C has nine at work center 10 and four days at work center 20. So today is day one. That is the working day one. And the due date for job A is the working day 12, for B it is 24, and for C it is 18. And we have to use earliest due date to plan these three jobs on two machines. And of course, sequence is the same. I mean, they have to be processed first on work center 10 and then on work center 20. So it is very obvious that uh, the earliest due date is for job A and then for job C, and then for job B. So uh, let's try to solve this problem. Based on the due date, the earliest due date is for job A, that is date 12, so it should be processed first, then job C, then job C. and finally job B. Now, the start day, we are assuming to start from day one. So at machine 10 or work center 10, the job A requires seven days, so it should end by day seven. Then we are having job C. It is having nine days at work center 10, so it, it will start at, at day eight, and it should end by uh, 16, day 16. So we are uh, at the moment talking about the work center 10. So similarly, the job C has five uh, processing days at work center, uh, work center 10. So it should start at day 17 and adding five will make it 21. Now we move to work center 20. So keeping the sequence same, the job A should start at day eight at work center 20. So it is having three days, so it should be completed by day 10. Then we are having job C, four days. So processing on job C at work center 10 ended on day 16, so it will start on day 17 at work center 20. So 17, 18, 19, and 24 days. Similarly for job B, it's processing on work center, work center 10. And will end on day 21. So it is having two days at work center 20. So starting day will be 22 and it should end by 23. So the question was, uh, the due date is, what is the due date? So 12, 24, 18, yes, we are given here as well. 
So job A's due date was 12 and it will be finished by 10. So yes, it is on time. For job C, the due date was 18 and it will end by uh, day 20. So it is late by two days. And for job B, 24 was the due date. It is completed on 23, so it is on time. 